Does anyone else think that I need more graphic novels or comics? I didn't think so. Hello everyone, DarkBuys88 back again. Never gets old talking to you guys. Once again, we are currently in the early October, and I have been all over the place lately. I can't tell you how much fun I've been having moved that over there. I've had a lot of fun over the month, just trying to just... There's been a few money concerns lately, I'll just leave it at that, but... They were uh, resolved, and I managed to pick up a lot of stuff over the course of this month. More so, it's the graphic novels. We got some movies, and we got some anime. We got some comic books as well. So we're going to just uh, get started, jump in, and get started. So, first off, I went to Granicon the weekend of the 28th and the 28th. It was 28th and 29th this year, but I only went Saturday because all the stuff I wanted to get done Saturday happened. And... I was working Sunday, but I still had a blast Saturday, so I got a lot of autographs. First, we have uh, Quentin Flynn on my copy of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, because he played Raiden. So this is the second autograph I have of his, along with Metal Gear Solid 4. Then we got some more for uh, my Kingdom Hearts collection. This is Jess Harnell. He played Dr. Dr. Shock and Locke in the Night Before Christmas world in this. And Jim Cummings, who obviously voiced Pete and Winnie the Pooh, which is really awesome. And finally, we have Rob Paulson, who voiced uh, New Fu from Teen Titans Season 4 episode with Employee of the Month. He was also in episode 257-494 uh, as the Quiz Monkey host as well. But it's really cool. They were great actors. Richard Horvitz was there. He played Alpha 5, Raz, Zim, but I had nothing for him to sign. He did play a soldier in Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots, but honestly, I wanted something better for him to sign. But I didn't really have anything, so conflict, but what can you do? Alright, now, uh, video games. We just have one. Grand Theft Auto 5. I was going to wait on this, but then Toys R Us was having a coupon 20% uh, off. You could get off the internet. So I picked it up, bought it. I've beaten the story of Mission already. Now it just has to collect. Now I just have to collect everything. Really awesome storyline. I like the story in this more than I liked it in four. Worth picking up. But if you really want, if you're looking for a game with a better, with a more serious storyline, go for this. But if you're looking for something with all-out action and comedy, pick up four. It's worth it. Game's worth it though. Now for movies, just one lone movie this month: Star Trek Into Darkness. Now I understand that, you know, it's. Everyone has a, it's controversial because the old the regular Star Trek fans don't like it, the new ones like it. It's in no way better than the old Star Trek movies, but it's still a fun sci-fi piece. Cumberpatch does a great does a great acting job, but just I wish they gave him a different villain. Still overall, I had a blast with it. It's a fun movie. But if you want really, but if you want a serious Star Trek movie, pick up the uh, pick up the Blu-ray trilogy with 2, 3 and 4. That one's the best one. Next up we have some anime. Uh, first off, Right Stuff was having a bit of a sale, so I had to take advantage of that. And of the three I picked up first, The Garden of Words on Blu-ray, Makoto Shinkai's latest work. It's only 45 minutes, but it's very well done as always. Really, really, it's really sad, really, it's just beautiful. It's both beautiful and sad at the same time, really moving piece, and the animation, the animation is fantastic. Worth picking up. Next up, I picked up from Up on Poppy Hill, directed by Hayao Miyazaki's kid Goro, but Hayao, wrote, Hayao Miyazaki wrote the screenplay. It's a really good slice of life, very plain sort of story. It's vanilla ice cream, but it's good vanilla ice cream. Worth This is worth, it's worth your investment. Really fun, fun little movie. And then finally, pick this up, Otaku No Video, which is this bizarre mix of anime and live action from Ganix. The only time this is how they deliver it. It's really just a bizarre look at the otaku culture in the early 90s. It's so funny. It's about as ridiculous. It's about as over the top as you can get with any anime. Worth picking up. This is worth. If you find this for cheap, pick it up. It's worth it. And then finally, I stopped over at Bull Moose a while ago, and I picked up just one, just one item instead of the millions I pick up. Perfect Blue, which, oddly enough, I haven't seen this the whole way through. Only seen bits and pieces. Really, really messed up movie, but great psychological thriller. One of, uh, seriously, Satoshi Khan, we miss you. 
you've done a great job. I've seen, uh, this is good, I like this, Tokyo Godfathers and Paprika, I haven't seen all of Paranoia Agent, but I'll get on that, but this, really awesome. And now, comics. So, first pile is from Harrison's, they were having a big 20% off your total purchase, and I picked up The Boys, Volume 10, Butcher Baker, Candlestick Maker. Great, or, this is the best, this is like the best story arc from The Boys. Great storyline about, uh... Butcher's Origins. Fantastic work. There's this big face looking at you. I love that. That cover's hilarious. And then I picked up Secret Avengers Run the Mission, Don't Get Seen, Save the World. Collection of one shots by Warren Ellis with different artwork. This is just great because Malev's in this, and Malev does a great job with his art. Next up, we have Arkham Asylum Living Hell by Dan Slott. Great. One of the most, one of the, a highly recommended Batman storyline. It's more it's like it's more of a prison drama than a Batman story. Really awesome. And then this monster, which is really cool. Batman and Robin Year One, which collects the Batman, the Robin Year One and the Batgirl Year One one shot uh the Robin Year One and Batgirl Year One stories. Fantastic artwork, really great storylines. If you're looking for good origin tales about these two in their early years, pick it up. Batgirl Year One, awesome storyline. Robin Year One's fine, but really, Back Girl Year One is where the action's at. And finally, this little stack was from one dealer. You see, he was having a sale where it was buy one graphic novel, and you get four free. The other four free. So you're getting five for the price of one, which the highest price one is what you're paying for. So obviously, couldn't pass it up. So I picked up, uh, these are the ones I've read, a JSA versus Cobra. Pretty good, nice JSA storyline. Really, uh, really quick though, and it really set the stage for what's come, what was coming next with them. It was tying up loose end from Final Crisis and Checkmate, and I think they were going to do something else with it, but then, you know, the reboot happened, so what can you do? Next up, Superman Up, Up, and Away. Fantastic Superman storyline, great artwork. Superman gets his powers back after Infinite Crisis, and it really shows how awesome Superman is, and how awesome Clark Kent is. Then we have Terror Titans, which took place between Volumes 9 and 10 of Teen Titans, the original, the Volume 3 run. It's really nothing special. Basically, Ravager goes into a fight club, she fights people, the villains fall apart, the end. Then we have the excellent JSA All-Stars. This was a great look at all the new members of the JSA and how important the JSA is. A little disappointed because there's an omnibus of... Jeff Johns' stuff coming out, and I thought that JSA Classified was going to be in the first volume, but it's this. So I'm probably going to maybe just sell this and just get the Omnibus. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really love the storyline, but if it, but the Omnibus, I'll probably just pick that up. Then we have Captain Adam Armageddon. The only thing that Linkara, one of the only things Linkara recommends that is good, basically Captain Adam at the end of Superman Batman gets sent to the Wildstorm universe, all kinds of mess happens. But it's still really awesome. Uh, and this I'm currently reading right now. Supernatural, The Dogs of Endenburg. Pretty good storyline. It's it's fine. It's a, it's a read. What can you expect from a you know TV show adapted book? But, you know, still good. Though, the, though Brian Wood, Wood, the guy who wrote DMZ, I expect more out of him, you know. But still, fun. And these I... And then next I picked... And then New Teen Titans Games, the original graphic novel. So awesome. If you love Teen Titans, pick this up. Any version of the Titans, this is the one you want. Amazing. And these three I haven't read yet, but I'll tell you why I bought picked them up. Uh, War is Hell, The First Flight of the Phantom Eagle, because Garth Ennis. Electra Assassin, because Frank Miller, and the artwork by Sinkowitz looks pretty cool. And Bruce Wayne, The Road Home, because I just want more stuff for my Batman collection. And that's that's really all there is. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, AAC is coming up next week. Ugh. Oh boy! So I hope to see some of you there. If I'm if I'm YouTube famous enough, that is. But I'll have more stuff after that. Also, I wanted to note that I also picked up Animal Man Volume Three, but I I actually am selling that because it fell apart afterwards. But having a blast with all the graphic novels, and I will see you all later.